Good morning. Why is Facebook doing that? Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. Let's put this on Do Not Disturb. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Come on in. Come on in. I got something for you today. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Instagram Live. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's going to be a great morning. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Hey, how are you? I'm praying for you. Listen, peace, joy, blessings, and strength to you no matter what your day endures today. Come on, we're going to go ahead and get started. It's your girl, Lady Ty, the great. Thanks for hollering. Thanks for following. I have on my shirt, 20 great team. What does that mean? That this is the year of the greats, that the greats are arising. They're going to the next level. God is about to do some new and amazing things. Trust and believe it. If you feel like you've been waiting, if you feel like, dag, when is it going to finally happen for me? Good morning. I King Jr. What up? Um, this is your time. So I just want to share with you really quick and briefly, um, What's going on this morning? I want to give you a starter, a kicker this morning. I hit a button over here. Hey. Okay, here we go. I can't see your comments. Oh, yes, I can. All right, here we go. Now, this is, we're going to start this morning off like this. What up, Boogie? Now, listen, y'all remember this song? I don't know how many of you remember this. The Facts of Life. Hold on. Y'all ready? Listen. It's going to be a fun morning this morning. The Facts of Life was a show that came on back in the day. Listen, you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and then you have the Facts of Life. Come on. The Facts of Life. Come on. The Facts of Life. I know you're like, what is this girl talking about? Well, today what I want to talk about is balance, right? You take the good and you take the bad and you have the facts of life. So what am I saying to you? I'm saying to you, sometimes it seems like life can outweigh you. Sometimes it seems like things are, are heavy. Sometimes it's like you're having a good day. Hey, good morning, James. God bless you. So listen, I have a friend today that's celebrating her birthday. Shout out to MJ miller michelle j miller she's amazing she's awesome she's a teacher she's all of that but it's her birthday so what am i saying today i'm celebrating her birthday i also have another friend who just dropped a song right on an album what's up paulie hey mama yvette so um and she dropped this uh album or well she's not an album she dropped a single so i'm celebrating that but i also have a friend who lost her mother so now I'm grieving and I'm mourning with that God bless you Jeff so what am I saying to you as I play this song the facts of life we're taking the good and we're taking the bad and we have the facts of life so listen to this real quick so what am I talking to you about I'm talking to you about this morning about balance please don't look at the scales before time don't look at it like man everything is looking so horrible everything is weighing down on this end I don't have this I don't have that today is a day that I want you to remember better Better is the end of a thing. So what am I saying? Even at the end of your whole entire situation, when you look at it, it's all going to balance out. I promise you. Your part of your issue is your perspective. How you've been looking at this thing. You've been weighing it. You've been judging it before it's time. So don't do that. I was in my room this morning just chilling and God was talking to me and I was like okay God yeah I hear you um you know that's good that's great and he said no get on Facebook get on Instagram and encourage somebody let somebody know so today that's why I want to share with you about three different friends right one is celebrating her birthday one is celebrating a release of her song sorry not sorry L Gaines and another one is um celebrating life do you hear me like her mother has gone on to glory so she's celebrating life but she's mourning right now so what am i saying to you even when it seems like life is taken from you you know i want you to i want to promise you that when you look at this whole thing at its entirety it works out like when you mix in the cake together you put the eggs in you put a little bit of water you put some milk butter whatever you do whatever ingredients you use but the combination of things when that cake comes out the oven before you know it it has balanced out um this is the other point that i want to make it may have not been easy but it was worth it it's going to be worth it so don't let your story go don't go through your story moping don't go through your mountain don't go through this thing looking at who's watching who's not watching who's doing and who's not doing you just do your part so that's why i'm on here to say for you to do your part and in me telling you to do your part i want to play you another theme song and this is from different strokes 
come on. What might be right for you may not be right for some. Come on. Listen, I know y'all saying, what's going on? Right, different strokes. You may do things a different way than what I do, right? I may do things different from you. There's different strokes. There's different paths that we'll take. But come on, there, there's one role in the end, and we're excited, and we're blessed to have a God that we serve that is amazing, and that he knows the end. That he, <laughs> ah, yes, and that he, he is, in fact, our father, right? And he has a plan for us. Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us that he has a plan for us, plans to prosper us not plans to harm us plans to give us hope in a future and because he's got a plan and he's got a hope and he's got a future we know that this is already paved out it's already written so my point today is let's get in that will of god let's get with that script let's focus with what god is saying so today just know you may have a different stroke a different way but there's one guy and one king come on but not be right for some come on Listen, your story needs to be heard. People need to know about you and the God you serve. If he's good and he's amazing. And if you don't know that he's good and he's amazing, let's talk about that too. I mean, there's so much. Let's get healed today. So this is the other thing. Because look, guys, this is how impromptu this was good morning missy bet i love you so much um these are the notes that i wrote i was not planning on coming on here but god prompted me to and so that's why we listen to those two theme songs from the 80s the facts of life in different strokes because you can take the good and you can take the bad and when you put them god bless you and darius when you put them all together you have the facts of life you have balance so what i want to tell you is your balance is this your balance is your crown that you're going to get your balance is your trophy your balance is you winning going to the next level so no matter what it is don't you quit the only way you lose is if you quit so if you just hang on in there if you just endure if you keep pressing and going to the next level that's how you're going to execute things that's how you're going to finish what you start come on so right now i'm just on here this morning to encourage you this was my own time like i was trying to have my own moment and just i was hearing from god and it was great and he said no get on there how did you receive all this and get full okay good this lead me to the next point now um uh, we talked about you take the good, you take the bad. Listen, wherever... <laughs> okay, now listen. So before I got on here, I had to go to the restroom, right? I said, well, I can't get on there. Let me go to the restroom. So I went to the restroom. And in the restroom, God bless you. I'm glad you're encouraged. This blessed me, right? When I went to the restroom, God says, what happens in the restroom? And I'm like, what, God? He says, you release when you get in the bathroom. I said, okay. And he said, well, let's... Talk about that. All of the things that you took in. Come on, juice, food, whatever. Everything that you took in, right? Um, everything that you took in built up and it was stored in a certain section. So you had a build up, you had something that was stored in a certain section and then it was held in place but then it had, it, it came a time when it had to be released. Come on, that was so amazing. Do you hear what I'm saying? I was like, wow God, I'm in the bathroom getting revelation. So he said, yes, you in took so many things. So how many things in your life, like we're doing it in the spirit and the natural, how many things in your life have you in took, right? How many things, right? If, we, if you want to make it plain how many juices have you drank how much food that stuff can't stay there so today we want to talk about bitterness anger and unforgiveness and we're about to get off of here in two seconds what are we saying what you took in the pain that you endured the hurt come on a deep hurt what they did that thing cannot stay god bless you mario that thing cannot stay hey clifton what up that thing cannot stay with you. So you took it in, it hit you, okay, you got it, but whatever you have, whatever life threw you, whatever life gave you, it cannot stay. It has to be released in a perfect timing. And yesterday we learned about in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 that to everything there's a time. Come on, and because there's a time, and then God makes everything beautiful in his time. Okay, so this is wonderful. In Ecclesiastes 3 we learned to everything there's a time. So what we're saying now, the time is now. And then in addition to that, I was in a session with my coach. What up, Derek? I love you, cousin. I was in a session with my coach, and she was talking about saying I want my moment now. So this morning I'm just on here to encourage you really quickly to let you know when you intake something like when you drink juice when you eat food you have to release it in the restroom bottom line we're gonna make it plain right so what is it that your life has given you that you took in but that you didn't release who is it that you need to forgive that hey Kali I love you pumpkin hey God what's up so who is it that you need to forgive who is it that you need to release you know what I'm saying for that thing God bless you Zelma CBK so now it's time this is your moment and as you go into your moment as you go into your next as you receive the greatness and you're great 
You're a great dad. Come on, Derek. You're a wonderful mom. Come on, Kylie. You all are amazing. Somebody had to tell you that today. Come on, Nikki. I love you, sis. You are awesome and amazing, and there's more for you. Hey, what's up, um, Alexis? I love you, sis. So there's so much more that's in store for you. But sometimes if we got our hands full with stuff, how can we receive it? So this morning, I just want to say, let's release. Let's release. Let's take the things out of our hands. And let's say, you know what, this thing, there's a God that's bigger than me. Let me go ahead and give God a try. God, can you take this? Can you help me? I might know, not know how to forgive. And it's okay to say that you don't know how. I used to say I didn't know how to pray. Could you believe it? So it's okay if you don't know how to do something. But just say, God. You're bigger. You created me. You're my maker. Go ahead and handle that thing for me. So that's what I like to say here on Holy Hood TV. Handle that. So if you don't mind, could you just ask God to handle that for you, whatever it is. And that's the last little note that I have today. I just want to talk about when you go to the restroom, you have to release. But you release things that were stored up and it went to a certain section. So there's things in your life that have went to a certain section. There's deep hurt. There's trauma. What is trauma? Something that just happened. Something that happened that, um, you know, you may thought you forgot about it, but it's actually in the back of your memory somewhere. It's hidden in your heart. Come on, there's parts of your body. Do you understand what I'm saying? So today, we want to release those things. We want to speak to trauma in our mind trauma in our heart and our GI track system you know anything that's in on the inside of us you know you ever been in a car accident and then like it left an impression on your body you like I just got hit by a tractor trailer so when I see tractor trailers now there's a memory there's that thing even though I don't jump and do all of that but there's something there so I speak to that memory and I create new ones I'm like thank you God for saving me thank you do you understand what I'm saying so this morning we just want to play those songs real quick and for those of you that's just getting on come on you may live a life of different strokes come on this is what we jam to thanks for joining us real quick y'all remember this to the beat is just one drum what might be right for kylie may not be right for Derek. come on listen that's it come on y'all Different strokes. It's different strokes for different folks. But we thank God that there's one road, there's one king, and it's amazing. So we thank God that we don't have to do this thing all on our own, even though we might have thought we had to, but no. But then this is the other thing that we talked about, the facts of life. We take the good, we take the bad, we take them both, and there we have the facts of life. So as you get off of here this morning, just know you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. Yeah. Come on. That's what there's a time for everything. So I'm on here this morning to let you know with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes, with the good, the bad, and the ugly, all of that combined together, there is a balance. So your life will have balance. You're judging it right now from where you are. So it's like if you looked at your bank account before your direct deposit hit, it's gonna look crazy. So don't worry about that thing right now. So this morning, I just want to pray for you, and that's it. So thanks for joining me. Let me make sure I um looked at all my notes. Yeah. Let's there. Yeah, so there's, there's more in store for you. I can't even read what this said. But basically, balance. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people today. I thank you today that you give them strength. Whatever stroke they're on in life, whatever fact of life that they're looking at, I pray that they look to the truth. And the truth is that you make all things work together for the good of those who love you. So this morning we say we love you, God. You know where everybody is and you know everything that they stand in need of. But we thank you, God, that you are a God of balance. Even though we don't know the end, you know the end. And you make all things beautiful in this time. So today I say peace. I release peace to you. I release bread to you. What is that? The bread of heaven. Come on, God bless you, Apostle Tim. The bread of heaven, deliverance is the children's bread. So just as we heard those songs from the old school, come on, from the 80s, we listening to this, God, we thank you, Father, that it's different strokes, but there's one God and one King, and all will see who that is. And we love you so much, Jesus, so we bless your name, and I thank you that there are facts of life, but there's also a truth. So we hold to that truth, and that truth is that you love us, and that you never leave us, nor forsake us, and that you give us strength. And um, we just bless your name and we thank you, God, that that's a fact of life. The fact is that we have eternal life in Jesus Christ, who is our king. So this morning, if you don't know who he is, my God, we want to invite you to invite him in. Please pray for your sister and got you. We want to invite you to come into our hearts this morning. So if there's anybody on here that doesn't know Jesus, this is the moment that you can just ask him to come into your heart. And you may be saying, well, I can't just do it like that. Don't you have to go up to a church right where you are? Or you can invite him in your heart. This is the invitation where you can say, I don't know 
I don't know you. I want to know more about you. God, come into my heart. And if you've just asked him, if you've invited him in, because he's standing at the heart, knocking. Come on, don't harden your heart when you hear his voice. It's not your conscience, right? It is a great good God. So this morning, if you've done that, God bless you. If you want to inbox me and we can talk further about getting connected and getting some materials and, you know, just walking this walk out, I'm here to walk with you. I love y'all so much. We're going to pray now for um, Alexa's sister, Gina, um, which the doctors are saying she has stage four uh cancer oh hey mildred what's up so we're gonna pray um even right now so father in the name of jesus we thank you that you are a god above cancer you are a god bigger than anything so right now we just claim total body healing we thank you for the opportunity father for your miracle signs and wonders to be shown in her sister's life so we come standing in agreement together on earth with heaven we just come thanking you god that that you can do all things so we call for the god of miracle signs and wonders we thank you if you've healed other people even miss gloria have you've done a miraculous things god we ask you to continue to show up let people know that you are a true and living god we believe so we stand in faith believe in the report of the lord not what doctors say but letting the doctors have an opportunity to see jehovah rapha our healer jehovah jireh our provider come on we thank you you God even right now that deliverance is her bread we thank you father for removing anything that's not like you we say let there be light let there be love and we release the kingdom of the God on the inside of her Gina in Jesus name amen I love y'all so much y'all are amazing y'all are dope and remember life is all about balance God is a God of balance hey God bless you good morning Miss Cynthia how are you God is a God of balance he's not gonna leave you out that's why we listen to those songs different strokes you might do it one way I do it this way but at the end of the day it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be great that's what the shirt say 20 great teen operate and you're greater God has more in store this is the time for it to manifest Okay, Danny, what's up? Anything specific? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for Danny. We thank you, God, that you give him strength even right now, that you give him uh, clarity, that you give him peace, that you give him joy. God, we thank you that you give him a supernatural experience with you. We thank you, Father, for the things that he had to endure, but he will be able to hold on. He will be able to go a little bit further. We thank you, God, that you hold his hand in this process and that you're building his strength. I just see you exercising, so I see God building your faith muscles, um, so we thank you, God, even now for Danny. We thank you, God, that you you got him in training. And we thank you, Father, for the chains that he's going to break off his family. We thank you that he will stand strong. We thank you, Father, that he will walk in the greater. Father, we thank you that in his weakness, when he, I just hear like the enemy's teasing you about something like you just being a weak and like you can't do it and you just, but that's not true. So the great thing about that is even when you're weak, Christ is strong. We thank you, God, that your grace is sufficient. So even right now, whoever is feeling bad for not being superwoman, come on, y'all see this? Or oh, Wonder Woman. You don't have to be this. You don't have to be a superhero. You serve a super God, and you are a supernatural being. And come on, Danny, and because you're a supernatural being, it's going to be amazing. So in those weak moments, you say, hey, this is a great opportunity for you to show up, Jesus. This is a wonderful opportunity for a miracle. So right now, we're calling on a way, man. A miracle work, a promise keep. The, come on, light in the darkness. Come on, so call for that. What up, fats? So we're calling on that God. We're calling on the real God. People need to see a move of God. They need to know that he exists. They need to see the power, his spirit, something. So come on, God. We call on the name of Jesus. There's no other name that we know. This is an opportunity to show not just on face, but show the entire world who you are. Make a non-believer into a believer by your miracle signs and wonders. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. We pray for the captives to be set free. We pray for people that have court cases on today. We pray for people that come yes we pray we wake up in the morning and we pray yeah we do i know we just jammed and heard some songs and if you shared this message thank you for sharing thank you so much apostle tim i love you thank you so um listen pray shift your morning change your atmosphere what devotion do you have come on what issues do you have do you have issues a part of the reason i get on here and pray look y'all i had daddy issues <laughs> What does that mean? I had issues with God. Who has issues with God? I did. I did. I had bitterness, anger, resentment towards God. I was mad at him for the way things went. But I tell you one thing. My identity did not get healed 
right? My identity did not get revealed. Who I was in Christ did not get revealed until I got healed. So me writing this book was such a blessing because it blessed me. But I want to tell you who has daddy issues this morning. Not just with your natural daddy, with our father up there. Who is grumbling and like, yo, God, I can't believe you let this happen in my life. If you were in charge and you did all this, how could you do that? Like, let's talk about the real issues. You know what I'm saying? So this morning, I pray today that you do like what we said earlier in this broadcast, that you would let go. When you go to the restroom, you can't hold on to what's inside of you. You ever been on a road trip and had to pee? <laughs> had to use the bathroom, right? You had to go. You could. It, you tried to hold it for a little while, but there was a point where you couldn't hold it any longer. And that's what God is saying for you in this hour about forgiveness and bitterness. So I pray today that a supernatural release comes, that you will begin to forgive people, that you will begin to try to let go of bitterness. And even if you do all that you can, call on God to do the part that you can. That's what makes him God. That's the difference between you and God. He can do what you can't do. I mean, if you could do it all, then that would make you a what? No. So let God be God in your life. Be still and know that he is God. Thanks so much for kicking it with me. It's your girl, Lady Ty the Great. If you want to contact me, um, you can at LadyTyTheGreat.com. Okay, thanks so much for the support with the ministries that we've been doing, going out and making sure um, different people that need this book get this book. If you want to support, you can go to my website and um, do that, LadyTyTheGreat.com. And if you just want a prayer request or you just, you know, maybe need some scriptures to help you through or you want to know about the discipleship program we have holy hood you can go ahead and also inbox me or reach out to me on my website ladytithegreat.com hey stephanie god bless you and today i am celebrating my sister lakeishian she has her song out called sorry not sorry she has three songs on all musical outlets i want y'all to go ahead and take a listen to that and also Take care, Instagram. Love y'all. And also, I want you guys to go to... Let me end this, and I'll play it on here. Also, um, today, also, I'm celebrating my friend, um, Michelle M.J. Miller, Prophetess M.J. Miller. And she's amazing, and she's dope. Let me try to find this song. Well, this is one of her other songs. Lord, I thank you. See? This is a song to um, Jesus. God is amazing. But this is her new single, Sorry Not Sorry. So go to Musical Outlets and go ahead and get that. Can y'all see it? Yes. And this is how we're going to exit. Sorry, I'm sorry. Destroying demons like Alexander Pagani. Nope. Sorry, not sorry. Nope. Sorry, not sorry. Nope. Sorry, not sorry. So listen, I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for jamming with me. Thanks so much for celebrating with me. Thanks so much. And whatever you stand in need of, I'm believing God to do something amazing in your life too. Listen, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. Go ahead and download that thing. I'm not even going to let y'all hear the whole song. Y'all might try to record it off of it. No, I'm joking. But thanks so much for the support on every level. And I'm also praying for my friend Cassandra Ingram, who um is going through the uh, heaven gained her mother. So she's going through the loss. So if that is you too, if you are mourning the loss of a loved one, I pray for you. And the Bible tells us, blessed are those that mourn for they shall be comforted. So we were on here today just to talk about balance, how some areas you could be celebrating. Like even right now, somebody's planning a robbery. Even right now, somebody's planning a scheme on somebody's taxes. Even right now, somebody's like, Dad, I don't know where my next meal is going to come from. But then even now, somebody's planning to having breakfast at the Marriott marquee you know so things will balance out and that's what my prayer for you is that you will see the god of balance that you will see the god of fairness that you will see the just god yes you too god have a great day hey jay god bless you so i love y'all so much you're amazing you're awesome listen god loves you and he's with you be encouraged today release what you need to release that's the word of the lord today release